Hey everyone, my name is Oliver, and I am here to play Outer Wilds with Echoes of the Eye, the expansion that came out for it, or DLC, or whatever you may call it. Uh, and I figured now is finally the time to uh, pick this up and try it out. I don't know anything about it, really, other than the uh, fact that it's in space, as you can see by the background here. Uh, I quickly went into the options, uh, configured some settings, adjusted the audio, but other than that, I don't really know anything. Oh, and there's supposed to be amazing music, so that's all I'm ready for, really. It's supposed to be a little puzzly, I think, which I like. So uh, we'll see if it's something for me or not. Let's give this a whirl, shall we? New expedition. Wake up. Got something exploding there. Hey man. There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Uh, I. All systems go. Glad you're excited. But remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of lightweight re-entry grade aluminum alloys, you know? <laughs> anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay. Cool. Uh, pr camp out under the stars. I like it. Very uh, serene. What is this place? Do you have anything else to say? Not having second thoughts, are you? How's the ship looking? Great! Oh, I just noticed he has four eyes. Cool. So he's like an alien? Am I an alien? Hey, you might get a kick out of this. I've repurposed the spare oxygen tank to be used as an extra combustion chamber. Is that safe? Probably. Okay. Uh, so how safe would you say this thing is? Oh, it's a perfect 10. Unless you're factoring in pilot error, in which case it's about a 4. No offense. Ah! Offense taken, mister. Slate. Uh, what's my mission once I'm in space? Hey, you're the pilot, you tell me. Aren't you pilot types all eager to get up there and explore for yourselves? Doesn't matter if you go to the moon or Brittle Hollow or just the other side of Timber or Horth. It's all the same to me. Get out there and have fun. Just don't hurt the ship, that's all I ask. Okay, man, will do. Um, so I'm a pilot, huh? Is this like a flying game? What else should I do before liftoff? If you have any goodbyes to say, better say them now. I think your friend Hal is in the observatory waiting to see you off. Oh, and Gossen says they have the Zero-G chamber set up if you want a refresher on making ship repairs in space. Not saying you have to, but uh, it'd help get Gossen off my bag if you did. I'll consider it, friend. Did you have anything else to say? I think that was about it. Where are the launch codes again? Hornfels has the launch codes. Should be up at the observatory, like usual. I'm starting to think they live there. Okay, man. That was... Oh, I can do something here. Roast marshmallow. Extend stick. Aha! Oh, yes. Actually, I hate roasted marshmallows in real life. But I'll eat it here. How long do I keep this here for? I had smoking. That looks about good. <laughs> okay. Actually, I want to try to put it in the fire. Okay, it just burns. Extinguish. Uh, toss. <laughs> that was very nice. Uh, okay, man, Slate. Uh, I'll see you later, okay? What is this? It just got so dark suddenly. Uh, jump. Oh, that's a nice mechanic. Whoop. Nope. There we go. Uh, let's get up here. What's that? A lantern? Ooh, pretty. Hey, Mika. Hey, it's you! It is! It's me! 
Slate said you're blasting off a new ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space, aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Hey, I'm still going. You better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Uh, sure, man. Let's... How do I do that? Oh. I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Yeah, we recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Yeah. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you've got. Okay. There we go. Whoa! Is this where I'm landing? Oh, that was easy. There we go! I did it. Unless you meant this one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Can I land in the hole? Eh, eh, get in there. Holy shit! Oh, we got bl we got blasted off into space! Woo! Cool! I'm gonna fly to the planet! We're flying! <laughs> We're flying to the planet! Actually, can I get there? Holy shit, I can fly far away, man! What? Oh god, we have a moon crashing into us. What the hell, is that a campfire? Okay, let's just re reset. Oh, cool. That was cool. What is that? God, this game is pretty, huh? Look at all the stars. Man, ooh, there's thunderstorms on the on the gas planet. You see it? It's flashing. Hey, Micah. Or Mika. What a landing! I guess that's why Slade lets you fly the real thing, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I'm having a bit of lag here. Like? Yes? Hey man, Porphy? Hey yo hatchling! I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. Uh, the good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Ah, the good old DDC. Got it. An iron stomach is the mark of a true Harthian, my friend. Our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. Okay. Can I say more? Oh, the astronaut returns! Tell me, what can I do you for? Uh, any new dirt? I'm hoping to teach Esker to tap trees next time they return from the Adel Rock. If they'll bring me lunar sap, I can attempt moon wine. That sounds cool. Can I go into your home? Nope. I'm, a, I'm assuming I can only interact with things that has an interaction prompt. Now, I am wondering if I am gonna get shot into space as well if I jump onto that. Uh, I'm gonna try that at some point, probably. Who are you? Rutil. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? Ah, I'm told my odds of survival, survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, the space program certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. What is that supposed to mean? Hey, what can I do you for? Uh, do you really worry that the space program will burn the village down? Only constantly. You learn to live with it. You also learn to sleep with a bucket of water next to your bed, just in case. Okay, thank you. Uh, I kind of want to exhaust the dialogue options here. Are you going to watch the launch? Of course. I'll be watching from a safe distance, obviously, and mostly to make sure nothing catches fire. But watching nonetheless. Matt, I feel like these people are obsessed with fires. Uh, use satellite camera? Out of Isles Ventures presents postcards from orbit. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Oh man, I love the music! Uh, forward snapshot. Rear snapshot? Wait. That one? Huh. Wait. 
Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see. We take an instantaneous picture of where wherever it is in its current orbit. Uh, behind us? What is that? Is that a mountain? Many mountains. Oh, we're gonna fly straight into that geyser. Ooh. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Uh, what do we got here? An ejector seat? This pilot seat, used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar, is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, <laughs> that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Hardian history. I like that. <laughs> the definition of flight stretched to its limits, huh? You got anything else to say to me? No, I'm good. Glad to hear it. Ooh, a water wheel. Moral. So it's launch day, huh? Hell's gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you build a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. Uh, the launch pad is flammable? Ha! You didn't realize that? Don't worry. It's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Pro probably. Thanks for that encouraging thought. Uh, yeah, he's gonna miss me. Uh, okay. Can I say something else? Nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. What? No, I just think it's in the way and someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically me. Huh. You think this is to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? Wait, is he actually just looking at it? What tree are you talking about? Is it that one? That's a big-ass tree. Oh, wow. What is this? That's like fireflies in the sky. Nice. Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Uh, tell me about the travelers' instruments. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Chert's drums, Rebeck's banjo, and Gabro's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course, though Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Aww. Anyway, you hear music in space? That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Okay, how do I do that? You gonna tell me more? Trouble is, every time a Harthian leaves for outer space, that's one less musician in our orchestra. I can see that's a problem. Uh, where's the observatory? It's questions like that what make us worried about you going up into space on your own, you know? <laughs> uh, I guess in hindsight, that was kind of a dumb question since I'm a pilot uh, and I should know this. The observatory is up the path behind the waterfall. There are a couple of signs marking the way, but really, you just keep going up and then hook a right when you get to the Zero-G cave. Yeah, that sounds really cool, man. Hmm. Give me some more of that music. I was really enjoying that. What is that? Those look like bombs. What we got here? Some kits? Tefra. Hello, astronaut! If it isn't my favorite troublemaker! We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. I can see his point. Hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Uh, sure, let's play. Woo! Okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Uh, one sec, I have to turn, on my, turn off my socks. I, I realize that sentence is weird, but I have electric socks on because it's cold as tits outside. 
Uh, okay. I will close my... Oh, that's a neat detail. Uh, did you notice? Yeah, look. We have four eyes. So we, we had two lines of, uh, of eyes there closing. That was, that was neat. Equip signal scope. Uh, what is this? Change frequency? Hide and seek. Zoom in. Zoom level. Uh, wait. Hide and seek. Wait, I see him. Is 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 this it? Zoom in. Ah, there he is. That was easy. Hey, man, I found you. I'm coming for ya. <laughs> this device is kind of cool, I guess. I don't know what it does. Oh, that waterfall is loud. Oh, you found me! But my hiding spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? Okay. Uh... Okay, let's jump. How was it? Right. Uh, there we go. Where's the other one? There. In the house? Oh, I see. Hey, Galena. I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. I don't know why, but that, that was kind of creepy. But I like it nonetheless. So can I just pull this out anytime? I can. I can track things. Outer Wilds Ventures. What is that? An, a white orb with a tail? Or something? Is that a comet? Yeah, there was this guy, I think. Did I miss anything else? Let me just check if I missed something back here. I could have gone this way, I think. Somewhere over here there was a path? No. Okay. What was that? Someone is, uh... Whistling. Ah, oh, this music makes me feel good. So relaxing. Kind of reminds me of uh, the feeling I get when uh, when the summer hits, you know, and you're free, no more school, all that stuff. Spinel, fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater. Guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend the hand. I'm sorry. That big water planet, Giant's Deep. That's where I'd go. Watch that. One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down. On account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly Gabro couldn't go any further. Tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. <laughs> As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabro go any deeper. It held Gabro back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast! Ah! I mean, that's what Gabro said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabro out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know. Make sure you bring some back with you. I will! I promise. Fishing song, fishing song. Jeez, I think my bait is wrong. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for Hornfells. Oh, them? I bet today's haul they're in the observatory. What is today's haul, though? What did you catch, huh? Not that I've caught anything yet, <laughs> but if I had, I'd definitely bet it. Hornfells is pretty much always in the observatory. Okay. Zero G cave. This guy's just sitting there still. Whatever. God, this waterfall is so loud. I feel like the mixing on that is off. Ooh. Oh, is that the satellite that I was taking pictures with earlier? I bet it is. There's that thing again. It's going backwards. Unless it's a perspective thing. 
Oh, it does look like it's gonna crash into us, actually. Look at that. Oh no. Oh, well, that's kind of scary. Oh my god, there's so many things happening here. Uh, who are you? Our coast. What you doing? Throwing rocks into green goo? Hey, astronaut! You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gossen said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling. Because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a su- Oop. Oop. For a long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown-up. Ghost matter is awesome! Ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Yeah! I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. That's not cool. That's kind of messed up. Try not to walk into any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. I will not. I promise. Let's go this way. So quiet suddenly. Oh, is that the satellite? There's a. Is that moon leaking? Looks like it's leaking gas. Moraine. Oh, Moraine. Wait a minute. Who was that? Oh, that was the person uh, who wouldn't lend their signal scope to the kids because it shouldn't be thrown around like that or something. Hmm. <laughs> oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. Uh, any good sounds from space today? There are. My signal scope is set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency. So I'm listening to the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Rebex banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Uh, okay. Let's... Out of Wilds Ventures. Oh yeah, I hear it. That's cool. Is that harmonica? That's a harmonica for sure. What is that? There's no sound from that one. What are you looking at? Oh, let's catch it. Ah, can't move it quick enough. Whistling. Ooh. That's so cool. I mean, I don't know what it's for, but I like it. What is that? Another, oh, ooh, a satellite or a plane? Okay, uh, do you have anything else to tell me, Mr. Uh, Moraine? Hello again. Uh, haven't, you up in, haven't you been up in this tree a while? I'm concerned Marl will cut down this tree if there's no one in it, so I don't want to leave it for too long. Maya Rutile says Marl isn't supposed to cut it down, but I don't think they see eye to eyes on this one. Eyes to eyes, nice. Um, I'll still watch your launch, though. I'll have a good view from up here. I guess I bet you will. Wait a minute. Is this the actual tree that I was looking at earlier? Is, is he looking up at us? Is that him? It is him. Wait, Rutile. Mayor. Who was Rutile? I talked to a Rutile. A Rutile. So I'm guessing there's not going to be any voice acting in this game at all. So I'm just going to prepare myself to... Talk, say everything out loud, I guess. What's up here? What's this? I saw smoke coming from Yongbark Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher. Just please don't break it while I'm gone. Tech tight. Scout launcher. I want to use the scout launcher. Anything with launching is good to me. Use scout launcher. Actually, let me see what this is first. Northwest Geyser Mountains. Yongbar Crater, that was the one. Uh, Quantum Grove Crater. Ooh, that sounds interesting. No My Ruins. No My? No My? No My Ruins? Uh, let's look at the uh, Yongbar Crater. 
Aim launcher? Oh, I am aiming. Uh, launch scout. Ooh, cool. Retrieve scout? Oops, what was that? Wait a minute. Launch scout. Take snapshot. Oh, I can launch my own satellites. Is that the crater? Looks like a crater. All the trees are flattened. Oh, it might... Oh, did we crash? Rotate camera? Oh, yeah. That's the smoke, I think, from the crater. Oh, that's cool. Retrieve scout. Uh, let's look at the other ones. What was this? I forgot what it was, but let's check it. Oh, the mountains. Man, this, this system is so cool. Oh, we're flying right into the geyser. Wait, did that just make us crash? Oh god. I think it sticks to everything it touches. Look at this. It's not rolling down. Is it updating in real time? It is. That's so goddamn... I mean, of course it is. Uh, retrieve that. Let's try this one. This was the Quantum Grove Crater. Oop. Almost hit the tree. What is the Quantum Grove Crater? Sounds very sciencey, and I like it. Yeah, that's the crater that, for sure. Ooh, I'm hitting something. I hit the tree, I think. Can't see anything. Uh, and then we have the last one. Ooh, can I launch this into the sun, I wonder? <laughs> that looks so cool. Uh, what have we got? Sorry for spamming this. I, if it's an annoying sound, I'm sorry. Uh, the hell is that? Kind of yin yang? Wait, are those like Greek ruins? Kind of looks like uh, like that. Ooh, now we have the set. Oh, I want to follow the satellite. Come here, you. Oh, I see it. See the light? Can I rotate it in air? I can't. Ah, it's too fast. I can't. I can't catch it. Ah, fuck it. Let's uh, let's get out of here. That's that's cool. I like it. The scout launcher. Mm. Oh, we got another scout launcher. Oh, there's also a sign. I missed that. Danger. Inside this fence is a packet of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you heard yourself fooling around. Hornfells. Okay. Uh, now I kind of want to just try and go into it. I wonder if you can die in this game. I mean, it's hinting at it, but... This game kind of strikes me as the type of game where you can't die. I don't know why, but... Oh, this is... This is not the same. I'm just taking pictures with this one. Oh, yeah, I see it. Ghost matter. Cool. Uh... Zero G cave? Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I've got Zero G training set up for you if you want a refresher. Gossen. Uh, yeah, sure. But let me just check this way first. Can I jump up here? Nope, not quite. Or maybe, let me try again. Ugh. No, that's too high. Oh, we got another noisy waterfall. I don't want to be near that. Mm, what do we got here? Grossen. Gossen. Oh, he's missing an eye. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? I'm a little nervous, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Good. Everyone should be a bit nervous before going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. Hey! <laughs> That's exactly what I just said. Hey, I've gotten better. Think so, do you? Feel like proving it to your flight coach? Oh, hell yeah, it's on. There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the CRG cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't. So long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Uh, I mean... One repaired satellite coming up. Cool, get to it. And try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. I'll show you. I'll show you. I can make ship repairs. Activate lift. Oh, we're going down, huh? Oh yeah, I guess it's a cave. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at all that. Kind of looks like the night sky. This is like some kind of gl glowing rock. Flashlight? 
Ooh. Oh my god, I prefer it like this. God, this game is really pretty for being so low res. I mean, it looks really nice is what I'm saying. Has a nice style to it. Suit up. Zero G cave up. Up, down, thrust. So what I was about to say before is, I, I, I get it. Zero G cave, we're going down probably to the center of the planet. Tough. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. Uh, give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt? Not much happening down here lately, let me think. Come to think of it, Tektite saw something crash outside of the village crater earlier. That's new and different. <laughs> Is anything on fire? Man, all these people are obsessed with fire, including myself, apparently. Uh, is anything on fire? Probably only a little. Tektite checked out the crash site with the old Firewatch scout launcher and saw smoke. So they headed over to stamp out any leftover fires. Yeah, I saw that too. Well, I better get back to work. This one's not gonna mine itself, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, let me see if you can say something else. Uh, you need something? Just getting in some zero-G time. So you're going in there? In the cave? <laughs> what? No, I'm fine. Great. Great and fine. You don't look fine. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna drift around down there for a while. <sighs> Just gonna float upside down and whatnot. <sighs> Just, you know, ricochet off the walls. Spin around a lot. That kind of thing. You're... Uh, you're the worst. I know. <laughs> That's cool. What a nice little interaction. I'm kind of... Uh, I, I, use, I usually want to try and explore everything, but it, so far it doesn't seem like there's any... Uh, off the beaten path sort of ways to go. It's sort of quite linear so far. I wonder if this is going to be how the game is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's calm ourselves here. Let's take it easy. Oh yeah, I can feel the gravity difference. Let me just... Oh, look at this! <laughs> That's so cool! Gravity 0.0x? 0 0.1x? 0 I guess we're close to the center. So what I was about to say before is... Uh, I get it. The 0g cave in the center of the planet. If you're down there... Well, gravity's gonna pull you in all directions simultaneously, right? So any force is gonna cancel out. And it's essentially gonna be like being in 0g. Although this would only technically be true in the ex mathematical center of the planet. But maybe if you go a little bit away from it, like here. Uh, it's, still, it's still so minuscule that it's almost like zero-g, maybe? I wonder if they simulated all this. Oh, here we go. Holy shit. We're falling. Let me just counteract that thrust a bit. What is this? Floating lamps? I thought it was a bug for a second, but we're in zero-g. I get it. Oh, I was about to say. Uh, log on. Match ve match velocity. Oh, cool. They're really uh, they're really simulating Newton's forces here, aren't they? Whoa, whoa. Repair. I love this. This is cool. Uh, where was the other one? I saw one over here somewhere. Let me just... Whoop. Go this way. Down. Whoop, whoop. Cancel. Repair. What is that? Oh, it's another light. I hear it. The other side. Oh my god, the perspective is so weird when you're in zero-g, I can't tell what's up and down. Is this one? Oh shit. Down. Is it inside of it? Ah, here we go. Forward. Stop. Match. Oh, closer. Match. There we go. Repair that stuff. Oh, that's a nice detail. Look at the little tape put on the wires. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, three out of three repaired. Training simulation complete. Also, I just noticed when I apply thrust, I can see the thrust in the bottom left. That's a nice detail. Oh, I have 
I have limited fuel too. Uh, gotta watch out for that. Is this the exit? Is this where I came from? There's no other exits, right? Whoa! Oh my god! There was. Oh my god! That just made me almost sick. Whew! Take it easy. Let's get up there. Let's get up there. Oh Jesus! The camera just adjusted itself. Uh, okay, we did it. Can I go up here? What's up here? There's something up here. A drink. A hip flask. And something. Can't interact with any with, with any of it. Whoop. Oh, let's get up. Come up, 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 up. Oh. Hey, where's the sky that oh, he's over here. Hey yo, did you see me float around down there? Huh? Okay, you don't want to talk to me anymore. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean anything bad by it. I was just I was just joking a bit. Oh, can't get over this. What? Jump. And down. Whoa. Uh, return suit. I don't think I can loot anything in this game. I don't think that's a thing. I'm getting this, the sense. Uh, okay, let's go back. I'm liking this game so far. I don't know quite what it is yet at all. Like, I'm just here for the ride. You know? Take me. Developers take the wheel, essentially. Gosson. Yo, did you see me down there? Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. Okay. I can see you're itching to get off this rock. So go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you. Got it? I promise. So I'm getting the sense maybe I can die? Can I actually save? No. It's probably an autosave thing. Observatory. We didn't uh, miss anything here, did we? No. Oh, yes. Give me that music. Oh my god. Wait a minute, what is that? There's something on the surface. A light? Fire? Something in the... Exploding over there. Meteorites? I can still go on hide and seek. Out of Wilds Ventures. Man, I, I wonder how much of this uh, they have actually simulated. I've, I've been noticing that uh, all the planets here fall along a line, you know, like the uh, plane of the solar system. And everything is sort of moving around, even if I'm not looking at it and stuff. I, I'll be curious to know how much of this is, uh, you know, actually following physical laws, so to speak, when they programmed it. What is this way? Launch tower? Let's go this way first. Cool. Hornfels, Gossen, Felspar, Esker, and Slate. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members. Clockwise from top left. Hornfels, Gossen, Slate, and Felspar. Huh. Wait, where's Esker? There's four people. One, two, three, there's five names. Esker's missing. Ooh, wait a minute. Hornfels, Gossen, Felspar, and, wait, what does it say? Hornfels, Gossen, Slate, and Felspar. Gossen has all his eyes. So this picture was taken before he lost one eye. That's an interesting little information. Is it the moon? Outer Wilds Ventures, Timberhearth's first and only space program, was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Felspar was the first Harthian to be intentionally launched into space. <laughs> How would someone go about being unintentionally launched into space? That's what I want to know. They completed the first orbit around Timberhearth. Maybe he hit one of the geysers, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, they completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth, and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Adelrock. The Adelrock, huh? Oh, there's also something over here. 
Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we would never have gotten off the ground. Math Matthew Steinhauer. Ben Etherington? Oh, are these like backers? Was this like a Kickstarter game? I don't know. I have no clue. Probably was. I mean, it looks kind of like an indie game, right? I think it is. Hell? Uh... Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tool's inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez. Do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And I'm, and I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm excited, really. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. Yeah, me neither. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? Is this like a saying here? What's the dirt? I've seen it before. Uh, wait, new statue? You haven't heard? Capro brought it back with him from Giant's Deep. We heard about this guy. And Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display. This is it right here. Neat, huh? Uh, makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez. I got a little carry away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Okay, man. Uh, we heard about the Nomai. That, um, I, that was Nomai Ruins. Somewhere. I remember that. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. That's not that long ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Okay. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we still have no idea where this space species came from, or what happened to them. Huh. Okay. <laughs> it kind of looks like a goat. Or something? What we got here? A satellite. New exhibit. Ooh, that's cool. Reminds me of Kerbal's uh, space program. The radio tower here on Timber Hearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite, and to this day still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. These photos were made possible by the Deep Space Satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above, and below, the plane of the solar system. Thanks to a recent upgrade, this Deep Space Satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our nearest astronauts. Huh. Okay, that's cool. What's happening here? Watch closely, these balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes the spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Adelrock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. What, like, uh, tidal forces here? That's cool. Wow, they actually simulated that. That's kind of badass. Oh, I came from there. Uh, what do we got here? This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Hmm. Wait, what happened? Wait, oh. Oh, this is the translator this, uh, this other guy was talking about. Uh, Cassava. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't... Sorry. Won't take long. What device? Fortunately, the Adelrock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. I have no clue what they're talking about. 
Oh wait, are these Nomai? This is Nomai text, right? Adelrock? That's the moon. Nothing there. What is this? Oh, I can see my body. Oh, look at this. I am an alien. I mean, of course I am. What did I expect? I am a Harthian. Oh, a cradle? Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Is that a planet? Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Sino archaeological expeditions. Kind of reminds me a bit of... Uh, of that uh, ancient race in Mass Effect that also died out? Reapers? No. What was the name? I, I, I forget. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and quite unusually, only three eyes. Yeah, very unusual. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nomayan ancestors. Hmm. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. I'm digging the vibe in this game. The music is so calm and it's like you're just walking around in what seems to be a museum. Just learning cool things. What is this? What is that? Crystal? The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. Yeah, I tried that. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts <laughs> lost to the depths of space. Yeah, I would imagine. Wait, did you just used to fire them off and not get them back? That seems crazy. What the hell is this? This crystal was taken from a Nomai rune on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Hmm. Oh, that's amazing. Oh god, this is very weird. Okay, cool. Oh my god. Let's get off. Get off this wild ride. Oh no, how do I get off? Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, that's the same thing. Okay. Uh, that, that's that's cool. We have some pictures here. Ooh, wait a minute. I recognize this structure right here. I think I saw that on... Uh, I think I saw something like this on one of the planets in the sky when I was zooming in with my, uh, with my gun. I saw this too, the yin yang and the, uh, arch the Greek ruins or the Greek uh, temple thing. I saw this. So these are just pictures of our planet? No wait, this is a picture of another planet, I think. Kinda looks like Mars. But there's trees. Anglerfish? Yeah, this anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. That's creepy as hell. Yikes. I know what this is. This is a star going supernova. Yeah, okay. I already know what's, what these are gonna say. Okay, so I know this very extensively because I am literally an astrophysicist in real life. <laughs> also why this game interested me so much. Uh, so we have a star. Uh, it's getting older. It's gonna expand the outer layers. Uh, it's fusing uh, hydrogen. No, it's fu yeah, it's fusing hydrogen here into helium, and when that supply runs out, it starts to fuse helium into carbon and oxygen and heavier elements. And this will uh, keep going through the periodic table, but it will stop once we reach iron, because iron actually uh, the fu the fusion of iron does not generate heat or or energy. It actually steals steals energy. We're just gonna make the whole star collapse in in on itself, and when it does, it bounces off the surface. Uh, with a very high velocity and expands outwards in a supernova. Um, 
That's cool. Let's see. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. Yes. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. Yeah, that's also true. But only for a very brief time until it gets hot and dense enough in the center uh, until it can start uh, fusing heavier, heavier elements. And then we have, as the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Yes, but also oxygen and other elements. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. That's cool. Man, I love that they put all this real science in here. I mean, maybe that's true in this simulated solar system, but in real life, our sun will not become a supernova. It will actually uh, become known as a, what do you call it? It will become a planetary nebula. Yeah, no explosion there. What the heck? Wait a minute. Ooh! Is this based on vision? Oh my god, that's creepy. Holy shit, that's... I've never seen this before, that's cool. What a great idea. What does, that, what does this say? The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. Hmm. That sounds like quantum stuff to me. The level-headed among us realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means, yeah. It's like the Schrodinger's cat, right? Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Yeah, for sure. But this is like some quantum mechanics on a macro level. Usually these rules for quantum mechanics only take place on the very smallest scales at the atomic level. And smaller than that too. Man, that was man. This is I love this so much. Man, what a great game so far. I have no idea what's gonna happen. What is what is all this even? What am I even doing here? This is what I'm asking myself. Let's go upstairs. Oh, I think I know what that is. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is the uh, the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. Hornfeld's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not, they're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I, I think I need to sit down. Yeah, I think that's the way Hubble also felt. Edwin Hubble back in the day when he figured this out. Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? It did, 13.7 billion years ago, at least in real life. Uh, that's what happens if you try to extrapolate that in real life. That's how people uh, postulated the Big Bang Theory. Not the show. <laughs> Uh, view map. Whoa! There we go. The solar system. You are here. Timber hearth. Ooh, giant's deep. We've heard about this many times. Brittle hollow. Dark bramble. Can I zoom? I can. What is this? The hell is that? It's like some kind of root. God, it's so quiet. Oh my God, what what is happening? The hour the hourglass twins. That sounds amazing. Okay, and the sun. Oh, what is that? There's something in here. Oh my God, that's bright. It's that like a little uh, little space station thing. Okay, that's awesome. Love this game. Ooh, can I look at this? Can I look through this telescope? No. Can I do anything? Don't think so. Okay, man. We've made it all the way up here. Is this Hornfels? It is. Uh, Hey, man. There you are. 
I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? That's a good question. Uh... I, I think this is one of the key things about the game, to discover something about the Nomai. Uh, I wanna... I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Ha! <laughs> Overwhelmed by the options, perhaps. I don't blame you. If you need help getting started, you could go visit Esker on the moon. They're alone on the Adel Rock most of the time, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Yeah, let's do that. Plus, we don't know what the ancient Nomai ruins on the moon are, or why they were built. You could put your new translator tool through its paces. Sounds like a great idea, man. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space. I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Thank you. Launch code seems to be a Morse code? Uh... Something? Actually, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the language of the Harthians. Uh, no, that's the creepy stone. Where's the exit? Ah, there it is. Oh my god, I should have gone left. Let's just get out of here. Uh-oh. The hell? Oh my god. Ooh, that's everything I've seen. Huh. Did it save the game? Is that the autosave? <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Wait, where's this guy that was right here? I could have sworn there was a guy right there. He probably moved. Launch tower. Uh. Hell? Hey, hey! So did you get a good look at that Nomai statue? Yes, I did. Uh, the statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? Whoa, whoa. The statue was doing what? So its eyes opened, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. I mean, if you say so. Uh, you mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like, medically speaking? Uh, no, that statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but I mean, what do you... Just go inside and look at it, it's turned. But why? Hornfels tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open, and nothing like this ever happened to him. Why would he do that? It's a statue, right? Why would you try and open the eyes? It doesn't make any sense. I don't think you're gonna get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more? On the other hand, Gabro's... You know... Gabro... So maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. Thanks, Hal. I really appreciate it. Uh, so some weird shit happened. We have an old species in our solar system that died thousands of years ago, the Nomai. I'm guessing that's one of the main themes. What's all this now? Tefra. Oh wait, I saw you before. Hello, astronaut. Are you going into space today? Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? Oh yeah, that's right. That's that's pretty disturbing. But Hornfell says no one knows what happened to Feldspar. Hornfell says they got lost in space, even though they were the best pilot ever. You're not as good as Feldspar, so you should really be careful not to get lost. Hey, you don't know. Have you seen me fly? I don't think you did. You should have seen me fly that little ship before. I landed everywhere. I even flew to the moon, almost. Do you have anything else to say? Are you bringing lots of mallows with you to roast on your trip? Mallows are my favorite. Oh, that's so cute. They call them mallows. 
God, this music is great. Oh, we're back to where we started. Neat. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of a launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, it is what it is. Enter launch codes. Here we go, are we finally launching? Ooh, I see, it's the comet again. Oh, wow. You can see the stars during the day, I just noticed. Okay, man, this ship looks like it was built by, <laughs> I don't know, someone in, in workshop, in the like wood, woodworking class. So much wood! It's held together by spit and duct tape, it seems. Man, it looks cool as hell. Look at this place. The solar system? Ship lock? Almost like a notebook. The one and only Harthian village, as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. The Nomai statue in the observatory opened its eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights and my own memories flashed before my eyes. Hell says the statue has never opened its eyes before, despite Hornfels' best efforts. Uh... A cave at the very center of Timber Hearth, used by Outer Wilds Ventures to train new astronauts. I successfully repaired another satellite for Gossen. Yeah, cool, so it's like a little journal of what you've done. Uh, I hear there are Nomai ruins somewhere on the Edelrock. No one knows what they are or why they were built. The Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Edelrock. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, let's go to Edelrock first. That's also what Hornfell suggested we did. Uh, and also to say hi to someone up there who was lonely. Is that Esker? Sounds like Esker is still stationed on the Edelrock. They've been there by themselves for a while. Yes. Let's go there, uh... When we get the chance. I'm guessing these are the places we haven't discovered. What is this here? Gabro on Giant's Deep. That's right. Hell says Gabro went back to Giant's Deep to try to learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory. But why did he go to Giant's Deep for that? What is the point of that? Okay. Nice. Uh, suit up. Ready to launch? Can I do something with this? Spot a tree, walk towards it, enjoy. Oxygen refill. Okay, that's neat. Uh, buckle up. I guess we're ready. Whew. This is it. Here we go. R2 hold for liftoff. Okay, here we go. Wait a minute, landing camera. Uh, let's just... Let's just do it like this for now. Here we go. Holy shit. That's a quick one. Oh shit. Oh my god, we're already in space, I think. Wow, this planet is small. Oh wow. Oh my god, I'm so lost. Oh shit. Look at all this shit. Wait, where's the moon? That one? Log on? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Holy fuck. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck's happening? Oh my god, that was kind of stylish though. That was cool. Uh, let's go to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Wait, log on. Keep it there. Uh, engage autopilot? Oh. Ah, cool. Uh, autopilot complete. Wait, equip signal scope. Oh, cool, this ship has a signal scope as well. Is that Esker? I get the feeling I... Oh yeah, I definitely am. I'm getting pulled in if I don't apply. What is this? Wait. Holy shit! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, okay, we're definitely being pulled in by the gravity, so we have to be a... 
wary here. Oh my god, I'm all tilted. I'm tilted! How do I land this bastard? Maybe I should go into lock on. Landing mode. Okay. Up down thrust, horizontal thrust. Oh no, wrong button! Ooh. Okay, okay. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting the hang of this. There's something over there. What is that? There's a moon behind the planet. I mean, the moon behind the moon is what I meant to say. What is that? Is the, do we have two moons? Oh, it was just Timber Hearth. I was fooled. I was fooled! Okay, I'm fooling around here. Let me let me land on this on this rock. On the Atle Rock, I should say. Oh, someone crashed into the moon. That looks like a spaceship. Actually, let me check that out. Oh no, I, I keep hitting the wrong button here. It's a little finicky to fly this thing, not gonna lie. Okay. Slow, slow and steady. Oh, uh, little uneven ground. Are we okay? Oh, that's a confusing perspective. Uh, we're okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm on the moon. Oh, this is so cool. What the hell is happening? Things are are these supernovas? Yeah, I think there are supernovas in space. That's kind of cool. Actually, I think uh, in our galaxy, in real life here, I think uh, a supernova is expected to go off every... Is it 200 years or something? Every 100 to 200 years. So this is a very high frequency of... I mean, just looking at the sky and you see two or three. There's a, there's another one. I think. Isn't that one? Maybe. Uh, that's a very high frequency. So I guess supernova is just commonplace here. There are supernovas though, right? Actually, I don't know. Maybe it's not. Uh, I'm I'm a little unsure about that. Kind of looks like uh, a star is exploding. Can I do anything with this? And why is it so low res? It's like weirdly low res. Am I crazy? Okay. Maybe I can't do anything. Oh, low gravity. That's cool. Whoa. Now I kind of want to play golf on the moon. Oh, I can. S oh, I have a little map on the left. I can see where I've been walking. That's cool. Um, let me go in here. Let's go somewhere else. God, this perspective is so confusing. Looks like I'm flying through space right now. Well, I I guess I technically am. You know what I mean. Uh, take off. Lift off like this. Oh, that's way easier. I'm gonna do this. Uh, let me check this out. There's the smoke. Or the gas. Oh, it's a, it's a bonfire. I see. It's, it's a... Uh, it's it, it it's smoke. It's smoke. Okay. I'm getting the hang of flying this thing. I'm already disoriented. Okay, here we are. Hey! Oh shit! What just happened? Unidentified signal nearby. Oh hey, it's you! Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Uh... Was that you whistling? Probably. Or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know? Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked in red on your minimap. But the Adler Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. You can't miss it. I'm forgetting, when you have a magnet, is red also used for north in a magnet? Not sure. Uh, don't the other travels come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's most, mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabro's Gabro and you know how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flight. Man, they're name dropping so many names here. I mean, I've seen these names before, but I gotta get used to it. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? What is this place? I mean, kind of a dumb question, maybe? 
Haha, <laughs> very funny. Oh, stars above your series, aren't you? That's just depressing. <laughs> Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which is which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then. But the older ships tended to uh, <laughs> fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. <laughs> yeah, so many fires, I've heard about this. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here, raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. Man, you're just chilling, aren't you, in your little rocking chair? Don't go! Uh. <laughs> mm, oh, seems lonely up here. Did I say that? A little. I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfells and Gossen mostly, and they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. They forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't shake in as often as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system. Hmm. So far it has been pretty peaceful and quiet, if we, if we ignore the whole f flying through space thing. Let alone in our village. Okay, uh, talk to you later. Oh, sorry for flashing you in the eyes with that. Doze off. Roast marshmallow. Doze off. Aw, this vibe is great. Listening to his whistling. Eat it. What is those off? Oh, I just literally sleep. Wake up? Wait, what is the point of this? Why, why can't I just sleep? Uh, am I getting like energy or something? I wonder if it's like a survival type. Is this like a survival game, I wonder? Because I saw there was fuel and also oxygen. So I guess it sort of is. Let's just sleep till morning. Wait, what is morning even in space? Or on the moon, I should say. No clue. Does this keep going forever? I kind of want to just see what happens. Okay. Wait, unidentified signal nearby. signal. I mean like this? Oh, Esker. I, oh, I see. Okay, yeah, the travelers. Oh, this music is nice. Oh my god, it's so dark. I guess we're on the dark side of the moon now, huh? What? Oh, this low gravity is amazing. Man, the music is really putting me in the vibe. Let me, uh... I saw something else on the surface that I want to explore. Actually, before I do that... I want to explore more around Esker. I want to see if I can get into his house. I mean, I haven't been able to so far. But I figure maybe one of them, you know? Maybe this one is special. Nope, doesn't seem like it is. Ooh, <laughs> more uh, marshmallows. Refuel jetpack. That's nice. Oh, no. Okay, is there anything else I can do here? I don't think so. Man, the view is great, huh? Look, there was like little rivers. Let's go back to the ship. Whoa! Man, you go really quick with the jetpack. It's kind of insane. So, now I want to do the this mode first. Hold lift off. Holy shit, what the fuck's happening? What is that sound? Wait, don't crash. Holy shit, look at that crater. Holy fuck, what the hell is going on? Oh my... Jesus Christ! We... We died? What the fuck happened? What did I do? Oh, it's the memory thing. Is it just... Is it saving? No. 
Wait, what's happening? Why is... Those are my memories. It's everything I've done. What? Did... Did I just die? Whoa, bad dream or something? You still look half asleep, but that's a negative on being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars the night before launch. But if you ask me, it makes you all a bit jumpy. Wait, what? We have the launch codes. So I think this is... I think we're supposed to die there. It was like a part of it. Yeah, for sure we were. Can I just go up here now? I can. I kind of want to go back to the village, see if anyone else has something new to say. Let me go back down. Uh, okay, I just realized how much time I've spent in this game already. Holy shit, man, this game caught me completely. Uh, wow, what a cool game so far. And that, what just happened there was kind of insane. Uh, I'm liking it in the best possible way here. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but I, I'm gonna have to cut this episode now. Uh, I will definitely... Uh, I mean, I'm gonna keep playing now. I'm just gonna cut it now. Uh, see you in the next episode. Bye.